How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I need to talk to you about a big opportunity, one way that you can really take advantage in crypto. And one thing that you really have to avoid, because I see people doing it right now. And we're going to talk about some of the top layer ones, including Ethereum, also Solana, a smaller cap, and Cardano. Cardano just made a huge partnership with one of the largest companies in the world. So we're going to talk it through. Please stay to the end because there is a lot to cover, but I'm going to try to keep it as concise and short as possible. So that way you guys get the facts as quickly as possible. I will talk about um, something towards the end that you'll definitely want to stay through to the end on because it's a way to make some extra money. Now, overall in the crypto market, we're up 1%. I did a video earlier today talking about the battle that's going on. We can see everything is really range bound and there's a massive battle because the leverage is very high in the market. We can see a $28 million short position that is close to getting squeezed. So get ready for volatility. I'll put that video on the end screen so that way you can see what I'm talking about because there is a ton of potential energy right now in the market. Now, 2021 was really the year of layer ones. And we've seen, we saw a bunch of different little mini runs where we saw uh, gaming cryptos do really well at the end of the year. We saw meme coins do well earlier in the year. We saw DeFi do well even earlier than that. But you can see overall, this is uh, obviously a long range here. But if we start at 2021, the beginning, Bitcoin was 70% of the market. Almost a one year ago today, essentially. And Everything that was outside of this list uh, was 30%. And we can just see it exploded over the year where now everything else is taking up about 60% of the market and Bitcoin's only about 40% of the market. So we can see a lot of layer ones exploded and we can go to the list, right? We have Ethereum that went from five, $600 up to 4,000. BNB had a massive run. Solana had a massive run. Cardano, believe it or not, had a massive run. Terra had a massive run. Polkadot, Avalanche, all these did really, really well in 2021. Now, one thing that I think you have to be careful of is betting on one blockchain, uh, one layer one, because all of them have things that come up that can set them back. And I'll explain what happened to Solana really recently here in a second, but you can see why some of these have done so well. Like with Ethereum, right? The active addresses have pretty much been stagnant all year, but because of the amount of ETH staking going up and higher volumes of ETH being burned after EIP 1559, this creates an upward pressure on the price, right? Burning staking plus maintain volume is why it outpaced Bitcoin by 4X. And other cryptos like Solana basically had a very small ecosystem earlier in the year and then they blew up throughout the year causing a lot of total value locked a lot of value just using the blockchain but we see things like this happen all the time and this is this is coming up today and it's kind of a question of whether this is true or not Solana network suffers another reported DDoS attack or DDoS attack now, these are supposed to be um, strategic attacks. And there are some people that are reporting this on Twitter that went down for four or five hours. But in the past, they've said that this wasn't a real attack. Uh, when people called them out on Twitter, they said it wasn't DDoS. It was just the fact that it was a congested network. And that's kind of what it seems like might be happening right now. They have not come out and said that there was an attack. They have not said that it was just congestion. Right now, we're just kind of sitting on the fence. But with that being said, we are kind of just ranging sideways for a lot of these different cryptocurrencies. And Solana hasn't really come down in price too much. So that makes me think that it's probably not an attack. Usually if they're attacked, the price will go down. Uh, Solana went down for a few hours earlier last year and it fell down a significant amount of price. But whenever a crypto like this is just ranging sideways, if there's no bad news, I think of it as just like a potential energy growing. Of course, if the whole market falls down and it's ranging sideways, well, it's probably going to fall down too. But if we're just sitting here and we're ranging and ranging and ranging for all of crypto, I think it's like a rubber band getting pulled back, getting ready to move up, especially because we know a lot of money will be coming in. But I think you have to be careful because I do see a lot of people going heavily on one cryptocurrency or worse yet, they go heavy on one cryptocurrency and it's not even a layer one. It's some small cap 
uh, really risky play, and that's why I think you do want to be diversified across some of the top layer ones at least, at least Ethereum, Solana, possibly Cardano. If you like Cardano, I know a lot of people don't like it, but Polkadot, Avalanche, some of these other layer ones, even Polygon, a layer one and kind of a, well, a layer two and kind of a layer one. But we do have a smaller cap that I have talked about a decent amount on the channel that has been blowing up recently. And I will link to the app that I use to buy it underneath. I know it's so hard for a lot of people, but I use KuCoin. I will put that link underneath the video in case you want to use it. But they have done incredibly well. They had a bigger YouTuber talk about it today and they pretty much were sideways anyways since he talked about them. But there's a lot of people excited about this crypto. And the cool thing is it's a bet on all of crypto gaming. It's a smart NFT platform. So it's not betting on one specific game to do well. And it's a small market cap and it's not going to be diluted a lot from here. You can see that the diluted is actually coming in a little bit below the market cap. So that might be a little bit wrong there. But overall, this is a great crypto to hold. Now, I am not buying after this massive pump, but I bought just a few days ago at 260. So I'm pretty happy with this and I'm planning on holding it, maybe taking some profits here if it keeps on pumping. But I think you have to at least get good exposure to a lot of these layer ones because 2021 was a year of layer ones. Now, one interesting layer one is Cardano because it has come down so much from September when it was at $3.10. And some people are saying it's going to get kicked out of the top 10 here soon. I mean, we would have to see about 50% gains for Polkadot and Terra uh, and some gains for XRP for it to be kicked out. But they are making some news here today because Samsung is getting some exposure to Cardano via new partnership. So it's not exactly a partnership with Cardano, but they did talk about how they are, uh, how Samsung will now have exposure to Cardano via their recent partnership with blockchain planting management system Veritree. You might remember Veritree because they came up during Cardano Summit. So this is coming from Cardano Foundation's Sydney Vollmer. He says, that uh, Samsung will now get some exposure to Cardano. So Veritree actually uses verification records that will be stored on Cardano's blockchain. So they do get some type of exposure to Cardano in this way. Now, this is kind of cool because Samsung is one of the largest companies in the world with a market cap of about $414 billion. And they're getting some exposure. Also, Cardano was the most developed crypto project on GitHub in 2021. So I know a lot of people are bearish on Cardano, but the fact is there were more people developing it than any other blockchain, more than Kusama, Polkadot, Ethereum. So you have to pay attention to it. I know that some people think that it's just kind of hyped up, but you have to remember too, it is down over 50% from its highs. So if nothing else, it might be a nice swing trade because it is beaten down pretty heavily. Now, of course, I think that you should have exposure across a handful of different blockchains, a handful of different cryptos. I'm not going all in on one crypto by any means at any one time because I think diversification is key. Picking on some of the top movers in this industry is really important, but not betting it all on one. Now, I know I talk about crypto a lot on this channel, but I still get people to ask me where I'm investing in stocks which is why I want to talk to you today about Moomoo. So I started using Moomoo recently and I really like it. So I know that we're kind of going through a little bit of a bear market at the time of this recording, at least with some of the growth stocks, but you can use some of their technical indicators to determine when a position is oversold or stock is oversold. They have extended hours trading, which is really important to sell before or after the market closes because a lot of people still don't have access to this kind of thing. I know it sounds crazy, but a lot of people can't sell before the market opens or after it closes. Also, they do allow you to invest in stocks outside the US such as Hong Kong stocks and they give free level two market data. That being said, there are some welcome gifts. So when you sign up using the link down below, you do have a couple chances to win some cool prizes, but you get some free stocks too. So when you deposit any amount on their platform, you get two stocks worth up to $3,500 each. And if you deposit $2,000, you get five free stocks. So you can definitely check out the link down below to try out Moomoo. I think it's definitely one that you should try out to see if you like it because they have a lot of information in one spot and they give short selling data, level two data. So definitely check out the link underneath the video. So thank you so much to Moomoo and you guys can check out that link underneath below to KuCoin if you do wanna buy Phantasma and I will see you guys in the next video, bye.